Welcome to Sing With Me 137. <laughs> we made it. And uh, there may be another one. We'll talk about it later. For now, let's sit upright, smile to each other on the screen, and we will start with singing little bits of the tune. You know what? It's only one melody for today, but the melody contains seven different sections. And it's a huge, 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 huge range, starting from here and, start, and up to here. It's two octaves. Now, if you feel at any point you want to skip something or you want to go lower or you want to go higher, please do that. If you want to sing harmonies, please do that. What we will do now, we will sing little bits of melody as if it's a niggin. So we just learn bit by bit and I'll learn with you because you know what? I never knew this um, other parts of the tune by heart. So, of course, we all know this one. Da, 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 da. Wait, wait, wait. I know you're all desperate to start singing it, but no. We will start with little bits of the tune that we don't know. For example, this one. Da, 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 da. Oh, you know this one. You know this one too? Yes, you're nodding. Everyone knows that too. Here. Da, 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 da. Listen, da 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 Sing with me that little bit so starting here. For now, just repeat what I'm singing without looking at your music, ideally, and then I will show you the whole tune with the whole text. But it's nice to place something in there. Da 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 da. and minor so we'll do it a few times okay da, 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 da. see how is that it's one of the easier bits of the tune <laughs> but it's good to try and remember something by ear i hope that by the end of today's session at least i will know the tune better don't know about you but i will know it better so one more time da, da, da. here we're going to sing that goes like this um how is that people are still coming in so forgive me um interrupting the flow of the music like the river uh one more time okay and listen and sing with me Okay. Now it goes really high. Before we do that, let's sing this bit a little bit slower. Sopranos go for it. 
That's the second half of this little bit going higher. Ta -da -ta -da -da -ya -ta 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 We're going to bring together that bit. Ta -da -ta. Uh huh. Okay. Right. And let's go. you're singing your heart out good okay all these twisted bits we are going to go into the next one now you will have music in front of you and some of you have printed it i'm sure uh, since um since i posted it on the website i found a couple of typos in the text believe it or not i spent two hours typing it in finding the right section after section listening to the audios um so we'll get through it eventually all the way through today. Eh? Now, another bit before we sing something with text, another bit. So we've done the jumpy one. There is another jumpy one that goes quite, um, quite high and quite low. Da, 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 da. really high for some of us so sing ta da 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 I will do this one more time people are still coming in wow excellent so listen again um so we are starting ta da 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 Okay, ta if it's too high. One, two, three, one, two. Ta da da da. 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 Ta da 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 da. How is that? One more time. but I'm going to mute you. <laughs> I see, unmuted. Right? Uh, so this is three bits that we've sung. Have you lost count yet? You're keeping, you're keeping count? Well, I suggest you don't think about the order of these tunes. You just get used to it, kind of, in a kind of listening and getting used to the bits of tune. Now, then we will sing through the whole uh, melody, which will be seven sections. Now we've done three. You know the first two, everyone knows them. And we have two more. How was that? All right. Okay. <laughs> next. Next. So we've done. Dun, 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 dun. Next bit. Sorry. A bit slower and low. And listen again. And. Let's sing just that really low and let's go. somewhere else 
but we won't go anywhere else yet. We'll keep to these two phrases. Da, yeah? One, two, three, and slowly. Da, 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 Okay? And again. So next bit, I see some of you are looking at music. I know it's easy, isn't it? <laughs> so ta, this will be your bar um, 102. But don't look at it yet. Don't. Ta, yeah. Okay. And here we go. Ta, Bar 100. Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da 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 How is that? One more time. I'm learning by heart. Ta -da -da -da. Ta -da 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 Rewind back. We'll start from Okay, somebody is coming in, I'm admitting them and starting from that phrase again. Let's go. And the trickiest bit of the whole song, listen. How is that? <laughs> you can tell this is an instrumental tune to which text was created later, and it kind of that's kind of hard work to fit it. But when you know text, when you sing it with the, with the music, it makes sense. And I tried it today slowly and it worked. So here is our most tricky bit again. I hope I did it right. Okay, together. Acrobatics, isn't it? Da, da. Again, one, two, and da, 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 Okay, let me see your faces. How are you coping? How is that? <laughs> this is some vocal, you know, and mind exercise, isn't it? Now, before we, before we make it into music, we will exercise our mind again, remembering the tune. We will connect that whole bit with the high and low. Da, 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 da. Okay? Um, follow me the best you can. We're going from bar 100 in the music, but don't look at it. Let's go. Da, da.
suggest now we go from the beginning without looking at text yet. Yefim, Fima, do you know the tune as far? Uh, yeah, I know. The, you mean the, the, the song? This whole, uh, these are the tunes we were just singing. You know, I heard it maybe many, many years ago, but it's only instrumental. It's not mine. But yeah, I knew it before, right? Yeah, yeah. I never knew that this was a song all the way through. Of course, I knew the Yiddish version was just A and B section, which oh, we're going to sing together now to relax a bit. Mm -hmm. But I never knew that the rest of it existed with text. Okay. You know this bit, everyone. Da, da, da. Um, and I suggest we pause here, breathe a little bit, and look at the Yiddish version of the song. How about that? Yep, oh, there's stuff happening in the chat. What are you saying? Anything I need to know? Dance, yeah, the, yeah. You know what? I decided not to talk about the history of this song because it's very long. It's a lot of versions this and version that. All we need to know that the instrumental version was composed by, I think it was a Serbian Romanian composer uh, and uh, it was an instrumental waltz in the style of um, Jochen Strauss waltzes and all that and it was uh, performed in Paris 
um, and it exploded since then. It went across the world and it reached America and Russia at around the same time. Yeah, anniversary. Apparently, anniversary walls is something else, and there is a confusion between the anniversary walls and something else. That needs to be checked, yeah? Eve, I'm not sure. I also knew it as anniversary walls, but I also I saw a remark on, online that it's not the same song, and there's been a confusion sometimes, as well as a confusion with uh, the Blue Danube, which is another walls. Yeah, um, so um, the tune was text was created to the tune at around the same time in russia and in um, america but there were several different texts in russia and i've chosen the one there is a famous leonid utyosov version leonid utyosov was a wonderful soviet singer and composer kind of jazz activist uh, but a lot of it is about soldiers and about um, these kind of subjects and i've decided to go for something about love and the danube and uh, the moon uh, and love as well at the end of the song. It's interesting how love only appears towards the end. We will look at that later. Now, I'm going to show you the Yiddish version. I believe it's uh, 1947. And uh, this is not it. Sorry. This is it. This is it. Can you see this? Yeah. Yeah. Printed or here. Right. And... Chaim Tauber's version, and we only have two bits of melody here. Dum, da, 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 da. Yeah. So what I suggest is we slowly go through line and line and line and line and sing it with Yiddish. Let me just see if you are mostly comfortable with that. How do you feel? Yeah, we'll just read the Yiddish and the, the English translation is just above the line there. And if you want to stop and ask about something, please do. Uh, it's such a long tune. I think we just need to, as we say in Russia, grab the bull by the horns. Yeah, straight in. So slowly into the Yiddish version, a beautiful love story. And by the way, these texts are not connected with each other. And I believe that the English version that you know is also something different. Okay. Carry on zum ersten Mal, wenn er auf dich der Sand gespielt hat, dann die Musik aus euch schein. The first time I saw you, the music was playing so beautifully, uh, when uh, Destiny brought us together. What are you saying here? Absolutely, Al Johnson. Wondering, okay, we'll check this out. Yeah, Paul with the anniversary song. Thank you very much. There's a link there. Mistakenly confused to refer to the anniversary song. Melody, Romanian tune composed in 1880. That's it. Yeah, Romanian composer, many military music. He wrote lots of waltzes, by the way. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how, are you, uh, how are you all with the Yiddish here? We have people from the Russian side. Are you coping with Yiddish okay? Yeah, Diana, all okay? You're yeah, there's always a la-la-la <laughs> instead. Now, uh, you can see that... Uh, you yeah, Denise, I, I know. <laughs> it would have been la-la-la for me if I didn't have to leave the class. So, um, uh, in transliteration for Yiddish here, some of you may be used to, uh, for example, his hoch or words like uh, nacht or like ach in the very beginning, spelled with an h, k-h. But we have CH, a kind of a Germanic way to transliterate here. I hope you're okay with this. Um, so that's an adjustment we need to make if we want to sing it uh, properly. Now, I suggest we sing through the first verse and then go to chorus. Yeah, that's what we will do. First verse and chorus. There'll be quite a lot of moving on the screen. Now, I would like to take a slightly lower uh, 
in pitch for this particular uh, version because then we will sing the Russian one quite high. So, da da da, da okay? For those of you with low voices. together one two and version have sung it have heard it yeah I see a few yeah Sueli how do you know it you heard it or you you sang it somewhere can hear you yeah yeah okay Eve hello no I was just leaning in to tell Sueli that she's mute yeah, Sueli is muted. Let's. Olina, I, I know this music since I was a kid. My mother used to sing it. Did she sing it in which language? Sorry? In which language did she sing? In Yiddish? In Yiddish. In wow. Yiddish. Since I was a kid. Well, where was your mother from? Where was she born? My mother is from Poland. She's here, she's here with me. I am in her house. She's oh, wow. 94. She's 94. And nowadays she cannot sing anymore. But she, she touched me. She teach me all the Yiddish music. This is amazing. I was a kid. She used to play the she used to play the, the play with all the, the Yiddish music. So I learned when I was a kid. This is many, amazing. Many. Yeah. Sweli. Can we meet her? Huh? Can we meet her? I don't know, Aaron. Sueli, uh, Aaron wants to see your mother. So if we can say hello to her, or yeah. No, she. I'm gonna try. My Olya keep it probably. It is getting crazy. Yeah. I can see mine. Lovely, lovely, wonderful. Wonderful. This is very interesting. Oh, Thank you, Sueli. This is my mother. This is my mother. This is my, my daughter. Come, she, she lives in America and she's here in Sao Paulo just for a week. And the other one is my sister. So we are all together today. Fantastic. And, and does your mother remember this song, do you think? She remember, but she, she cannot okay. remember very well. Okay. And when I try to sing with her, she said, no, no, thank you. But she, she loved it so much to sing in Yiddish. But it's, now, you know, it's different. But now you sing in Yiddish, you see? This is very interesting. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, Sueli is in Sao Paulo, in Brazil. So, and, uh, yes. and, your, and your mother is from Poland. So I wonder how this went to, you know, Poland somehow, this song. Uh, that's, she, came, that's... she came to Brazil, she was three years old. Yeah. Oh, I see. 
So I wonder how the song traveled, if it was uh, America printed. 19, 1933. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, can she Thank hear? You. Yeah, Barry is asking whether she can hear uh, this today. I think they're all there at the table, sitting at the table, Barry. So I think she, they're probably that, at least aware that Sueli is singing this with us. Yeah, okay. We're going to do this uh, and hopefully all the way through. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's do it. So the whole song in Yiddish. Ready? Let's look at this. Let's look at this. So we have the second verse and the third verse. I will be doing this all the time. I'm sorry, I, because I don't obviously don't know it by heart. So I'll have to look at text. So let's enjoy this in Yiddish. Okay. something I'll dance um, I guess Spiel die Musik, das ist ein Wals von der 
right. Oh, stop share. Hello. Somebody's just entered the meeting as well, so I'm just split between all this. How was that? Good tune, right? What's interesting uh, and what I really love about some of the songs that I bring here, apart from these folksy, rootsy, ancient, old songs, I love the connections that music makes between lands and um, countries and uh, it tr transcends everything. So where are the roots of this song? You know, um, is it is it a Viennese waltz? Sounds like one, but when it's sung in Yiddish, does it sound like a Yiddish waltz? <laughs> um, and did you listen to the files on uh, online? There is a beautiful uh, old version, uh, Yiddish version, which is just it sounds Yiddish, very Yiddish, lach, right? Now. Um, if you don't mind, we're going to jump into the Russian version, which is quite hard work. A lot of text and uh, maybe we'll do it bit by bit. Let's see, uh, because we have this long, long, long melody. Oof, can you see this? So you have the first line of text, the second line of text, and you have it in Cyrillic. So what I think I'll do, I think I'll slowly, slowly go through the whole song, all the way through. You have an option of going la la la, it's a huge tune, long tune, big range, or you can sing it with, uh, with text if you like. And we will then, once we've sung it all the way through, we will uh, briefly translate it. And maybe, not me, but somebody else in the group could, could translate it um, to us. What I like about this text is that it's all about the river, the Danube, the Danube, how beautiful it is, da, 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 da. and closer towards the end, uh, we suddenly realize that it's a love song, because suddenly love between a couple is mentioned. So uh, let's see if we can guess where in the song that happens, if anything in the music leads to that. So we're going up in our key. We're going to sing slowly, and I suggest we will repeat pretty much every section, right? And let's go. back to that section up of all now yeah where it's a repeat sign I'm putting it to the top of our screen one two three up of all Yeah. 
If you are shaking your head, how is it for non-Russian speakers and non-music readers? We're going through that section one more time. So now it will be at the top of your page, in the middle of this line. See, e he be he good, yeah? E he be one, two, and one. E he be he good, be good. Strony svetly, chlot svetly, chlot vse vpered. Priamo na vashod, na vashod. Эти чад, дальний мирный край, мирный край, наш голубой веречавый, наш донной. One more time, бегу, бегу, струны светлых вон, светлых вон, все вперед, прямо на восход, на восход. Эти чад, дальний мирный край, мирный край, наш голубой веречавый, наш донной. From the top of this page, you can see it. No, what? One, two, three. Yeah. 
supposed to go back to the beginning before we sing the whole song maybe let's see what's happening in our chat lots of um lots of focus today right yeah <laughs> oh you've gone quiet even in your faces you've gone quiet <laughs> are you there are you okay <laughs> are you okay tricky right um sh let's have a show of hands who is coping with the russian at least partly 50% Russian. The thing yeah. is, not having read it before, when, when you read it, your mind sort of searches for the translation, but the but the music goes so fast, you don't have time to think. So it's quite a, <laughs> wow, that's a workout. <laughs> exactly. I actually thought it would be a workout. I almost wrote it. I, did I write it? I almost wrote it. It'll be a, wo a vocal wo workout and a mind workout. Yeah. Well, I don't. Lena, yeah. Even even in Russian, as a Russian speaker, it's not easy at all. It's like uh -huh. so bumpy and going back and forth into the text. It's not easy at all. I think crazy, for, right? Denise? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. That's probably why it's not sung very often as that kind of song. It's it's instrumental by its nature. And uh, unless you know. Oh, no, I was just going to say, because sometimes you send text without music, but I don't think you did this time, did you? Which is a lot easier for me to read it if there's no music there. I know, Justin, this took me so long, <laughs> just putting this together. This yeah, whole sorry. Month. Yeah. But also, I, I thought that no way I would be able to sing it without looking at where the, to where the music goes. Because there are so many sections in that tune. But I, I kind of insisted on doing the whole song because you will get the the two part tune anywhere else but it's not often that you hear the whole tune sung with words like this it's kind of an experiment now who wants to tell us what the song tells us about it's just a quick quick brief translation anyone what what did you manage to get anyone can you what? have words in front of us again oh go ahead somebody else Oh no, but I, I am a Russian speaker, so it's not relevant, I would say. I can, of course, tell, but it's not kind of, I think there was someone who had more well, interest. Well, Denise, tell us just the general gist, and then Eve may um, add maybe something else, come on. May I just say something that feels very much, uh, you know, this kind of uh, metaphorical uh, language of Stalinism period, that somehow touched me, like, the way these things about... Um, let's say, harvest, uh, very feminine, intense kind of uh, imagery that comes from there. But it's, okay, now I'll tell, so it basically tells you um, like beautiful blue Danube, uh, uh, your, your flowing since ages, and uh, there are all kinds of yachts from various uh, uh, parts of the world, and there are huge ships. And so, so it's just this kind of uh, image of a river, which is flowing through some lands, obviously through, say, Eastern Europe. And uh, it's a peaceful land also, it, it, it says this. And uh, uh, somehow, and there are like, First it's daytime, then it turns to night. There are the kind of nighttime metaphors. There will be some kind of sounds of the night and there will be small streams flowing into the river and they have sound and you can hear it, all these things. And then it ends up uh, like, uh, dear Danube, you kind of, you were there for our love and something like this. So in the end, it, it, it connects with, uh, with love. But yeah, and between, two, between two people, obviously, men and women. Yeah, just two people. Of course, just towards the end, we we you managed no. to hear that it's a love story somewhere there. Yeah, but you're right, Denise. It's it's so um, Danube. You're the best. You're the most beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're big, and there is no uh, kind of there is no story. It's all just the description of this. It kind of goes round and round about the same thing. Eve, did you want to say something? You? I had just put something in the chat because, you know, it may be that the whole song is also just kind of alluding back to Vienna because of the Danube. It, Even it, though it goes through many, it goes through many countries, but it's like the whole idea that the waltz is so associated with Vienna and the Danube is so associated with Vienna. 
So your association with the song is with Vienna because of the music or because of the text? It's, it's Danube, but there is no... Oh, music. because the Danube and because the waltz is so uh, associated with the city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you see what Denise means, but uh, what where the, the kind of the Stalinist... Uh, I wouldn't say it's Stalinist, I would say it's non-conflictual. What's the word? The... It's, it's like, you know, it comes even like uh, if you read this culture, culturological aspect of this, you can find it even in the Nazi Germany, this kind of intense metaphors of uh, fertility, of like giving you the sense of, say, kind of natural power, but very peaceful, very nice to people, and very feminine in a way. So this this is what I could grab. Maybe it's my own perception. Of Interesting, because to me, Danube is masculine, definitely. Big, strong river. And it's a he in Russian. Yes, but, but yeah. still, still the fields, like, the, like, like the, range of, the range of metaphors. It's not about like uh, invasion or intrusion anywhere, like a masculine yeah. kind of, say, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. range of uh, ideas. But it's very feminine, very peaceful. It receives other streams and all this kind of stuff. Sorry isn't if I there, isn't there some mind. isn't there some imagery of like the bonfire, you know, in there? It no, says just it, stars. Yeah, it says it's like uh wait, it says uh Golubuy of uh, 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 It says uh, stars are looking at each other. Castor, like, something about Castor. Uh, your your stars are looking at each other and the little path of the moon is like uh and the stars and the moon are like a golden fire. Castor is a fire. Yeah. So so that that part about, you know. I think the part about fertility, if you want to say, you know, it's it's like encouraging romance in some kind of anodyne, you know, sort of not not necessarily ideological, but it's it's taking this bold nature imagery yeah. instead of really talking about people. Yes, yes, that's for sure. It's not Definitely. not that I'm trying to say. It just was very widely represented in that time of. Uh, yeah, 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 very much so. 40, yeah. 40, yeah, it's right in in that era. It's forty mm -hmm. that what forty nine, forty eight. Uh, this was published, I believe, in nineteen fifty or something like this. So it's just these years when, remember, nineteen forty eight, when there was a huge article against all these cacophony and Shostakovich and all that. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so people had to be really careful, but it's. Everything is positive, every, everything is strong. There's a, yeah, obviously a metaphor of power, uh, but also looking towards, uh, you know, it's it's Vienna, but it's not this capitalist, um, you know, world, but it's still a good, nice river. It's all friendly, you know, interesting, right? It's a waltz and it's it's love. So well, it's, yeah, and, and you have to encourage uh, the population regenerating. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what exactly does it say about love i didn't get that right i'll tell you what the love is and i'm sorry everyone that we really don't have, have time to go through text word to word because some of you are learning russian i know but in this case it's just a big tune i'll tell you where it is uh let me show you the text and we will sing at least the beginning of the tune again today but i want to find Это река сила чудесная. Вот, there, at the very end. Это река сила чудесная, нашу любовь сделала песню. This river, uh, by its uh, mysterious, by its magical force, uh, force uh, has made our love into a song. And that's it. That's the only, there, любовь. See that любовь in the middle of the one before last line here. Can't highlight here. Yeah, that's love became song because of that river and under the moon um the vdal razlivaetsa uh, flows into um into far away our beautiful free blue and free dunai danube yeah interesting right um, thank you yeah yeah so Right, uh, we have like two minutes to finish. So I suggest we go from the beginning and maybe just enjoy the first two bits of melody, which we all know. Before we do that, I would like to announce that seeing as so many of you are here today, 27, my favorite number. <laughs> 27 is, you know, Bruce Lee's birthday and Mozart's birthday and mine too. I'm in good company. So <laughs> I want to tell you that uh, I bought, I bought Zoom anyway, so um, I might as well do another session. I'm suggesting the 21st of December, which is a Wednesday. What do you think? How is your, how do you feel? Okay? Yes. 
yeah, good. It doesn't. It won't go into my newsletter because my newsletter has gone already. So please spread the word. And uh, and by the way, thank you very much. Those of you who have paid last time, we had something like 30 people and 11 only paid. And I was kind of discouraged. So. Yeah. So um, thank you very much. Some of you paid a lot and extra. So appreciate it very much. Feed the hungry artists. So we're going back to our song to the beginning. Big mighty river. And here is the mighty river. I'm going to take you down a couple of tones again so we don't jump around too much. Let's go. Thank you very much for coming and I hope to see you on the 21st of December in Sing With Me, another Yiddish and Russian song, different songs, I guess, next time. And um, there are all sorts of other events which you can follow. Come, 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 sing, keep singing, keep positive. And I guess that's it. Uh, bye, everyone. Alina, thank, you. thank you very much. Fimochka, спасибо. Thank you, Fima. Bye. You. Amazing. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 We made it. Bye.